guys, hi guys, welcome to 332 Teams, where I review all 332 teams in the NHL after the 2022-23 season. This series consists of an overview, regular season, player, postseason, player stats, team stats, and my overall opinion about the team. We finished Western Conference, and now we're in the Eastern Conference. Today, we're going to review the Tampa Bay Lightning. Let's get started. Before the season, in winning the Stanley Cup in 2020-2021, after losing the, in the Cup Final the previous season, the Lightning played 71 Stanley Cup playoff games over the previous three seasons. The NHL has never seen three seasons more more playoff games than that. The Lightning struggled struggles throughout the grueling regular season, may be impacted by another brief off season. It will be more difficult to start the season without winger Anthony Sorelli and defender Zach Bogosin, both both of whom underwent summer so shoulder surgeries, may miss the first two months. Following the acquisition of Jan Rutter by the Pittsburgh Penguins and the training of Ryan McDonough to the Nashville Predators, Mikhail Sergeyev will assume a larger position among Tampa Bay's defensemen for the 23-year-old who averaged two, 22 minutes and 8 seconds in some of games last season, ranking second on the landing behind defenseman Victor Hedman. This means playing frequently in the top four and perhaps getting additional ice time after giving Sergeyev Eight-year, $68 million contract deal on July 13th, Tampa Bay plainly feels that he is capable of more. After the season, 30, this is the 31st season of the NHL team that was founded on December 16, 1991, was the 2022-23 Tampa Bay Lightning campaign. They are the reigning Eastern Conference champions before the season began. A victory o over the New York Islanders on April 1st allowed the Lightning to clear their the playoffs place in the playoffs. The Lightning started the season with a 3-1 loss against the Rangers. They were able to win their, ne their first game, the next game. The first month of October, record was 5-4-0, which was okay. November was a lot better. They could, they won 8 games and have an 8-3-1 record in November, which was great. In December, they were able to continue these wins. In December, they were so good with 10, with, with 10 wins in one month, and the best monthly record of the year and season. They went 10-3-0 in December. They played their final game of the year against the Coyotes and won 5-3. Their 2022-year record was 23-11-1, one of the best in the league. The Lightning was more than comfortable for making the playoffs, and this year really did show it. It would be very surprising that the Lightning would go on the downfall. I'd like to let you know that the Lightning won back-to-back -back Cups in 2020 and 2021, and went to the Stanley Cup Final last year, so it would be very unusual if they started to lose and did not make the playoffs. January starts and is doing, going great. They had a five-game winning streak at the beginning of the year, and at the end of the month, they had a three-game winning streak. The record in January was 9-4-0. Another great record. They kept proving how Tampa was a dangerous team. In February, they started to slow down a little bit, but still had a decent record. They went 5-3-3. Three, and three. In March, it wasn't the greatest. They went 7-7-2. Seven, seven, but Tampa still had a huge chance of making the playoffs, despite this month. And on April 1st, they beat the Islanders, which secured their place in the playoffs. The, re the rest of April really didn't matter, since getting home, adv since getting home ice advantage was out of the question. They ended their season with a great with a shutout against the Red Wings 5-0. Their overall record was 46-30-6, or 98 points. That, that This clinched on the third place spot in the Atlantic Division. The Lightning is still playing against the second place team in the Atlantic Division, and that team is the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Maple Leafs had a great season and finished over 13 points to the Lightning. It's going to be a tough battle. Will the Lightning be able to beat this Leafs this series and try making the Stanley Cup Final this year again? Let's find out. In Game 1, the Lightning demolishes the Leafs 7-3. However, the Leafs give the same treatment back the next game, where they won 7-2. It was not even 1-1. After this game, the game started to become close. In Game 3, is a close 3-3 game that goes to overtime, but that but the Leafs win it again. Win. In Game 4, it is another close 4-4 game that goes to overtime, and the Leafs also win again. The Lightning is now down 3-1 in the series. And need to win 3 in a row in order to win this series. Game 5 happens, and the Lightning wins a smooth 4-2 win. Now game six starts and, is, and it is close. It is a very tight one-one game that again goes to overtime. About four minutes thirty-six seconds into the game, John Tavares is able to score for the Leafs, winning down the, the series. The landing is out, and their three Stanley Cup final appearances streak is over, and so on is their season. The opponent leader for the landing is Nikita Kucherov with 113 points in 82 games. He completely outclasses everyone when it comes to points. He had such a spectacular season with Tampa. Honestly. Were we surprised he was going to get that many points this season? Kucherov is such a big part of this team. He especially helps the team with his great vision and assists that he delivers. He led the team with assists with 83 assists, which shows how great of a player he really is. Next in line is Brayden Point. He also had a great season with 95 points in 82 games, over a point a game. 
This is by far his best season for Tampa. He led his team with goals with 51 goals. He is such a great goal scorer that really helps his Tampa team. Another great goal scorer is Steven Stamkos. He is with this team for his entire career and knows his team a lot. He was a big part of this team in 2020 where they won the Stanley Cup. Last year where they played and last year where they played in the Stanley Cup final. And this year. Brandon Hagel is another good player who had a good season and is still developing. There are more great players on the team such as Alex Korn, Mikhail Strugachev, and Victor Victor Hedman, who all had a large influence on this team. Let's talk about the goalies. The goalies there are only there's two main goalies, Brian Elliott, Andre Vasilevsky. Let's start with Elliott. He had a twelve eight and two record, played twenty two games, had three point four goals allowed average and a point eight nine one save percentage. Not the greatest uh, goalie right now for the Tampa. Obviously, he is overshadowed with Vasilevsky, who is by far much better, as we see here, much better and it's a star goalie. His stats, he played 60 games and had 34-22-4 record. He had 2.65 goals lot average and a .915 save percentage. Much better than Brian Elliott. And also, by the way, Brian Elliott is a free agent, so he is no longer with Tampa. But Vasilevsky, obviously the goalie he is. Very good goalie. Won two cups. Was in the Stanley Cup final. Played great in all those three finals. So obviously you expect a very good uh, Vasilevsky this season. And he did. Pretty good player stats for Tampa. Let's move on to the team stats. So overall, we are here for the face-out win percentage. They are 11th with 51.6%. Not too bad at all. Shot against per game. You want to be on the low end. They're kind of in the middle. 31.5 per, uh, shots per game. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. They need a higher, and they do barely. 32 shots per game. Pretty good. Not too bad. In the middle again. The penalty kill has to be high. Are they high? Uh, and in the, in the middle again, 79.7%, right below 80%. Not, it's not the, it's not the worst, but it's not the best. It's in the middle. The power play, the power play is unbelievable. It is great. 25%, a quarter of the power plays they score. That is a great percentage on the power play. Goals allowed. See the goals allowed. Won't be on the low ends. They are, eh, they are on the low ends with 3.07 goals allowed. Round up the three goals. Not too bad at all. Now goals four. Tampa have a 3.41 goals for pretty good overall Tampa really good team stats really do show it right below 100 points But obviously their stats are pretty decent not decent. They're good. So yeah pretty good team stats for Tampa Now what's my overall opinion about Tampa? I think they're a pretty good spot right now They're nearly okay or good at every team stat the only side they might have a problem with is the overtime when they play against Toronto in the playoffs three of the games they lost were in overtime the Lightning couldn't win in overtime, which ultimately lost them the series. Also, they won five games in overtime in the season, which isn't too bad, but all their overtime wins were at the beginning of the year. Their last overtime win from the season was on December 3rd, where they beat the Toronto Maple Leafs 4-3, excluding all shootouts since there isn't shootouts in the playoffs. This means that Tampa must have lost something halfway through the season. And the last, they have played, after December, they played four overtime games, and they lost every single one of them. Well, obviously, other than that, Tampa is good at everything. The players are good, especially Vasilevsky. The coaching staff is good, and their future doesn't seem too bad. On my last note, Tampa is a pretty good team, and I've seen them making playoffs next season. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to get the daily upload going on. I believe tomorrow, I'm not sure. I think I'm opening the Rangers tomorrow, which, I mean, it might be a little biased because I am a Dallas fan, but I'm going to try to make it as neutral as I can. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like the video if you liked it. Comment down below your opinion. Uh, comment down any suggestions. I'll respond to it. I know I will. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Have uh, Stay safe and have a great day. See ya.